Let's eat, guys. Let's do the test. Oh my god, can you see how my hand is breaking into that swallow? It's stretchy. I mean, is it pandemium? No. Is it Gary? No. But it feels good and it gets the job done. I'm going to dig in. Hi guys, so I'm back home now. I'm so exhausted, but I still have to make dinner. So tonight I'm going to be having some cabbage swallow and um okra soup so i'm really excited because i'm famished as i said like on my tummy i've gone inside in fact i'm sure if i look now i'll see abs <laughs> i wish i crack myself up sometimes anyway i'm going to show you guys how i make my low carb swallow using cabbage it's so easy you only need two ingredients and water so maybe three no water so if you only need two ingredients so it's super easy i'll show you right now um if you have any questions comment down below and i'll make sure i get to it but yeah it's basically just cabbage swallow feel free to use any other vegetable you like you can use cauliflower you can use um broccoli you can use carrot you can use uh basically you can use any vegetable you like so just make sure it's drained there's not enough there's not too much water in there and it should work fine yeah so let's get started i'm so exhausted you guys you have no idea i just need a massage and a hot water bath so let's start anyway all right just cut it so that it's small enough to blend a bit in there but it's fine actually you can blend it with the core because it's gonna be blended anyway so it's not gonna be hard to chew on but i'm just so used to removing the core that i didn't think about it you know i'm just gonna cut it up depending on your blender it might get away with bigger chunks but this is already going to be too much work for mine it's a really small blender as I said, you want to make sure that it's not too big for your blender. So I'm going to add this into my blender. Then it's just enough water to blend. I've just added a decent amount of water because my blender is a bit crazy. It takes a lot of water to just blend something this small. So close it and blend. I've just got a sieve here with a plastic bowl underneath and I'm going to start draining it so let me show you guys I'm gonna pour almost everything in here I'm going to leave some so that I can act as a liquid for blending the next batch so I've left some in there so I don't have to add extra water every time blend it. So you basically have to repeat the process till it's all blended. I need more water. I'm going to add more water. Add water if you have to. I mean, as you can see, it's going to drain out anyway. So don't be stingy with the water. It's not like a car or something. If you don't drain everything else, it's going to make your process even longer. So try your very best to drain. Look, just look at that water that came out from there, from the cabbage. And I'm going to help it a little bit. So I'll make sure everything is drained. Oops, I spilled a little bit, but that's fine. I'm going to drain it off. 
Drain, drain, drain. I would know when it's done draining because it will stop just oozing out. See? The more dry it is, the better for you. It's all gone. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer it to a pot. So it's in here now. Does it not look like my idea already? I mean it kind of does and it's not the same but it kind of does so you want to just warm it up make sure any water that is in there left any other water that is left in there will just dry up so i'm going to put it on high heat just for a few minutes so all the liquid is gone as you can see this is what it looks like right now um depending on the binding agents you're going to use it might change color a bit but yeah i have this is the main ingredient today psyllium Psyllium, psyllium husks I can't really pronounce it but it is it's just a binding agent which is what we're going to use today with the cabbage for you um, I have the whole top of it and honestly a little bit goes a long way I only use about two minimum of two spoons of this sometimes four depending on how much today I might use three to four I'll see how it goes and then yeah I'll just watch As you can see, it's already heating up, it's bubbling at the bottom, so I'm going to just leave it uncovered like this. Actually, you can do this in the microwave as well, just put this in the microwave bowl, microwavable bowl and leave it in the microwave first for 3 minutes so the water dries out, add the psyllium husk, turn it, add it back into the, put it back into the microwave, let it cook for 3 or 4 minutes and at the end you should achieve the result you want. For now, that one is going. So basically what I'm looking for is that water, all the water at the bottom just drying out. I don't want, I want it to be completely dry. If you don't uh, drain out all this liquid and you go straight to this process, this process is going to take you at least 10 minutes. So this saves you time. So don't try whatever to do this, whatever, no matter the vegetable you're using. So at this point, it's basically ready for the psyllium husk. As you can see, there's no more liquid at the bottom. It's completely dry. So I'm going to first of all start with um, two, two of the scoops and then take it from there. Add more. So like I said about this particular one having um causing it to change color. Ooh. It's already coming together actually, but I want to make sure everything is good first. see it's already becoming very 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 stretchy just that it's so soft if you thought at this point it's still very 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 soft so that's not what we want i'm gonna cook it for about two more minutes if it's not the desired texture that i want i'll add more of the powder always do a test first you don't want to add too much if not it will be too rubby but it's already holding together nicely already holding together nicely it's just not the texture that i want just 
do another test. It's holding together, but not quite as firm as I want. So, I'm going to add a little bit more, just not too much, just like half of the scoop. Just half of it. I want it a bit firmer. Now we turn, turn, turn. Turn like a light depends on it. Try to go as fast as possible. Because mine is already having cocoa. It's firm to the touch, but still soft. That's all we want. Like this. It's my food and my hands are clean so I'll put it back. Uh, aha. Now I can turn off the heat. The job is done. So this is our final product. A very stretchy swallow that is completely healthy, low carb. Try. I'm going to leave it cool down a little bit and then I'll put it in clean film and let it set completely ready for use and then we're gonna put this one in the middle Let's pick up around the edges form a nice ball shape a really nice ball shape So that, that recipe made only two. I thought it was going to make more, but obviously not. This is a really small cabbage. Gonna just shape it to the best of my ability. There's a couple ways to shape it. You can just kind of just use one hand to mold it and use the other one to slide it, form like a perfect shape. Or you can do like my beer claw method, which is just use your hand like a beer claw. Just in the end, you should have something like this. So here is our swallow. I'm going to warm my soup and enjoy one of these wraps. As you can see, this one is already firm after the touch than this one that was in the pot. Give it a few more minutes and it will be perfect. It's ready, guys. Unwrap the eba. Oh, sorry, I forgot it's not eba. It's cabbage swallow. Unwrap my cabbage swallow and put it here. So that's it. You know, I served. Oh my god, can you see how my hand is breaking into that swallow? It's stretchy. I mean, is it pounded yam? No. Is it Gary? No. But it feels good and it gets the job done. I'm going to dig in. I know you guys don't see my mouth. I'll try and get a shot. Oh wow, wow, it feels so stretchy, so good. Ah, let's get some more, let's get some more. Cut it, let me cut the okra. Okra has a bono in it as well, Sha. I'm just used to the method. I think I have a recipe somewhere on this channel, I'll attach it. Mm. You guys can come and join me. This dish is tasty, I won't lie to you. Uh, this is exactly what I needed after a very long day in school, you know. This is just perfect because I get to enjoy a full fat soup but with a better swallow. If you are thinking of where to buy Fisilium husk in Nigeria, I'm not really really sure but I think there are some people on Instagram just type Fisilium husk or Cilium husk, I don't know how to say it. Nigeria on Instagram. I'm sure some suppliers will pop up. So, but should I eat meat? Ah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click 
the like button and also share with your friend tell them that you found a new way to make swallow that is healthy and nice some of me some of you may have heard of this idea but actually i really enjoy it so i just thought why not share it again you know why not just share it i really am going to enjoy this food i'm so tired as i said already and i'm i just i'm really going to enjoy it i'm just going to watch series right now i've gone to the gym i've done everything so yeah just left the gym please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you later bye